Okay, behind me we've got our newly delivered Coachman Apex Nano 186BH. So I just want to give you guys a little tour. Starting off at the front, got a hand crank. Comes factory, so not electric, but whatever. We can add that later. A uh, single battery box, but the tray looks like it will take a second battery, no problem. Does have a convenient looking 12 volt kill switch down there. Two 20 pound propane tanks, so a little bit easier to get filled than the 30s that we're used to on our larger camper. Giant front window. The front storage. So you've got your, uh, you know, it's not the greatest solar charge controller in the world, but you know, a little $30 option here. We'll go over the solar package in a little bit. The one thing that we were not anticipating was how much of this front storage is taken up by the Murphy bed inside, but still a decent clip of storage here all the way through for that pass through. It's got the nice swing down stable stairs. Let these legs drop down the ground level and give you a nice secure step. Aluminum wheels on this thing. Then we've got our outdoor kitchen. So we've got the slide out, you know, I call it all of these things up the black stone, but it's got the slide out griddle, little mini fridge, and some extra counter space with an outlet and some USB ports there. On the back side came ready for a backup camera. So I just got an El Cheapo Amazon 85 dollar variant to put that on. Up on the roof we've got our solar panel, air conditioning, got our shower skylights, shower vents, and then if you see up in the front there the big surprise, the Stargazer Skylight. So moving on to the inside, we've got these nice friction door here. So it's not gonna get caught in the wind and slam or anything. You really gotta use some force to open it. And we are immediately greeted with the Futon Murphy bed. So this is a, a really neat feature. where we can flip the sofa down. And our mattress unfolds. So we've got a, a full queen in here. So that was one of our, our must-haves that's only on half of these variants. The other must-have was this just giant stargazer skylight so it really makes this space feel a lot bigger when you've got this much natural light coming in so we absolutely love that moving on over we've got our stainless steel sink with cover a two burner stove underneath that we've got our microwave and then our heater unit and my favorite thing about these newer RVs is these 12 volt fridge and freezers. If you look at the inside here, there's just so much extra space compared to the old propane electric combos. So we've got our small dinette uh, and we opted for this version because it doesn't have a slide. So we didn't want any points of extra failure or extra weight because we were going to be towing this with a a medium sized SUV. So our our Highlander can tow this thing just great. So ooh, here we go. We got our uh, a cameo appearance by Lincoln on his first YouTube video here. But how big are these bunks, buddy? Uh, pretty big. Pretty big? This one I can sit like this, but the up the one right above is I can't sit like this. 
It's pretty small up there, but it's ginormous down here. So what can you do down here? You, sit, you think you can sit and game down here? Yeah, because there's this nice, like, plug char char charging station. That's always what I call it. Oh, good. You got a, a wall out there? You think your sister and you can fit in here and play, play games? Yeah, but I'm probably going to, like game down here because there's a lot of space oh there. that's right there's this extra little hidden cubby where somebody can game down here get you a little sleeping bag or something yeah well, just like i probably am just gonna grab like a squishy and go down here there i love it so there's no ladder to get up in here but it looks yeah. like you've figured out a way show me how you get up to the top there i'm gonna start from the ground okay i just just use the booth as a ladder that works you can see now I can barely like, sit. Oh, you can't sit up there, but yeah. it's a little bit shorter, but just as wide. And these are a full 54 inch wide bed. You know, it's got this diagonal cut off of here, but this is a, a full mattress. Yeah, and they have- Oh, privacy curtains. Look at that. So That's beautiful. You can go uh, All right. here and you can never see. What else we got? We got our monster fan in here so we can get some good cross breeze going. And then if we go into the bathroom, yes. we've got our corner sink, nice fixtures, decently deep medicine cabinet with some storage in there. Uh, it's only a plastic commode. You know, it's not the fancy porcelain ones, but it'll save a little bit of weight. And our shower. So let's see if I fit in the shower. <laughs> and barely. Now, I, I am I'm six two, two hundred and forty pounds. So, you know, I'm, I might just have to crouch a little bit. But I also <laughs> have shoes on, so maybe my hair won't be brushing the top when I actually get into it. Yeah, maybe. Now, toilet test. Let's see. Tons of room. Look at that. Tons of room here. Alright, so again, we love all the natural light, all of the windows in this thing. So if we look, you know, you've got the bunk windows on the top and the bottom. You've got this dinette window, you've got the door window, the monster front window, which is just beautiful for letting in some light. The stargazer that if it gets a little too bright out, we can always shut one or the other of these. Then we've got a window right here, and then this monster window above the kitchen. Um, and there is no TV, buddy, but it does say we can put one in right here. Oh, so TV backer, we got an outlet, and our massive. antenna port there. So what do you want to say to everybody? Um, well, I can't say nothing yet because we still have to explore. We still got to use it. We still got we, we to use this and... We still have to go show them to work the other camera. How about like and subscribe? Yeah. For more content? Yeah. Let me hear you say it. Like and subscribe for more content. Thanks, Bubba. Okay. Uh... So one of the things I don't think gets enough credit are these wonderful magnetic latches that they put on all of these hatch openings. So when you open this bad boy up, boom, it just sticks. So here's that pass through from the other side. So you can see, still a good bit of storage there. I don't know, maybe 18 inches wide of usable all the way pass through. So maybe we'll make a slide system or something so we can get to access all of that so we don't waste any of it. Coming around this other side, we've got our potable water fill, our exterior uh, heater, the hot water heater vent, our outside shower, our city water connection, our main 30 amp hookup out here, um, TV and cable hookup. Of course, you got your jack stands on every, your stabilized jacks on every corner. And we've got our black flush, gray flush. Um, and overall, I love the, the color combo they went with. Um, it's the majority of it is paint so this gray color down here is actual paint or embedded in the fiberglass 
this black stripe is a vinyl. This kind of gradient stripe is a vinyl. This little white stripe add on here is a vinyl, but everything else, so this main gray and the main white is all embedded in that, that Asdell fiberglass. The only part that looks a little sketchy to me so far is some of this wiring under here. So I don't know if this is a thermocouple that maybe triggers some underfloor heat, but I don't believe the 186 is supposed to come with a heated belly pan, so uh, I might have to ask the manufacturer for that. If anybody knows, comment below. Let me know what that's for. Um, that's about the only nitpick so far. As far as controls go, there's only a couple in this thing. So you've got your thermostat here for your heat. So you just slide that bad boy left and right and that's your heat. And then in the bathroom, we've got our tank displays for our gray, black, fresh, and our battery level. We've got our water pump switch. And then we've got our water heater, whether we want to select gas or electric. Then down below the refrigerator, we've got our breaker panel. So we've got our 110 breakers up here and our 12 volt fuses down here. Everything seems to be adequately labeled to let you know what's what. So no complaints there. And last, we've got our quote unquote entertainment system. So we've got our speaker that has the charging points built into the dock. So I don't know if I'm a huge fan of this yet. Uh, you know, our favorite Josh the RV nerd absolutely loves these and he hates outdoor speakers. I'm kind of old school. I love outdoor speakers and, and indoor speakers and be able to rock out everywhere, but whatever, we'll see. Maybe this is awesome, who knows? Times are changing. And we've got our extended retract for our awning and then the LED lights for that. Um, so it's just an LED strip. And it is a pretty bright white. I think that's my only complaint is I wish it were more of a, a warm white, have you? So there is no complete switch for all of the lights. All of them are just these little push button and it's on. So again, just a minor inconvenience versus the 32 footer that we're used to. Um, and then the, the air conditioning is not tied to your thermostat that the heat is it's its own separate controls here and whether you want that on or off. So just different, not better or worse or anything like that. Tons of storage space. The under sink storage space is not bad, all things considered. Got one drawer, which came with a Bible. And then you've got your tilt down for your sponge. Bottle opener number two. More outlets over there if you want to put your pressure cooker or anything up here. Your air fryer, anything like that. And we've got some under dinette storage. Pretty spacious under there. Again, some outlets. You've got your carbon monoxide and your propane alarm there. You do have a little bump from the wheel well. But again, for as much as we use a dining room table, not bad. And then this one, again, not a whole lot of space there, again, from that bump out from the wheel well. 
overhead storage. No idea what's in here, but you can't get to it. So who knows? Got to be something in there though, right? And we've got our over the queen bed in the front storage. So one big compartment there with two doors. More outlets down here, USB, C and A again, just like everywhere else. GFCI, little wardrobe here. And then this side just kind of has a, an end table, if you will. Then underneath, we've got some net storage that actually goes back pretty deep. So I don't know if we'll be utilizing that or if we can get some shallow bins in there or how we're going to optimize that storage space, but that'll be nice there as well. One last view. Again, we just absolutely love this stargazer. That is the star of the show. Coachman Apex Nano 186BH.